and what about that XML file name? File name, we must need to configure surlet name hyphen surlet dot XML file. In web dot XML file, while configuring this dispatcher surlet, while configuring your front controller dispatcher surlet, if you use any surlet name for your dispatcher surlet in web dot XML file under web apps. If your surlet name, if it is hello, surlet class dispatcher surlet. Surlet mapping, surlet mapping, surlet name hello, surlet URL pattern. We can do something star dot extensions. Okay, so if you want to use a default XML file, in case of default Spring XML file, in case of default configurations, in case of default configurations, your Spring XML file name it should be hello hyphen surlet dot XML file, and the location of this XML file should be along with web dot XML file. You should keep it under web INF along with your web.xml file and in case if you want to change the location or if you want to change the file name by using two more types configurations you can you can change it we have two more configurations here by using context parameters or configuration parameters you can change that xml file location so instead of going through this by using config parameters by using config parameter you can change that location and you can load multiple xml files also okay while making application one application it can have any number of xml files okay for a do we can have one xml file for connection pool we can have one xml file multiple xml files we can have but in case of this default configuration must we need to configure only one single xml file in case if you want to load multiple xml files from multiple locations so then you have to go through configuration parameters or context parameters. In case of this configuration parameters, here you should configure one init parameter in between surlet and surlet. A init parameter you should configure here. Init parameter, parameter name. The parameter name we should use context config location and the parameter values here you can pass any number of xml files locations so from where we can load there we can have two types of locations class path locations we can have and web inf locations your web root locations also we can have so you can load your xml files from class path and as well as from web inf from class path if you want to read xml files from class path if you want to read let's say if it is spring oh sorry Eclipse working environment if it is Eclipse project in case of Eclipse project under SRC under SRC under source if you have resources folder resources package in this resources package if you have an XML file test2.xml and along with this under web content inside web INF If you have one more package, something spring XML files, in this spring XML file package, if you have an XML file, spring.xml file. Now if you want to load this XML file and as well as this XML file, both if you want to load. Then here, first you need to load class path XML. First you have to load class path XML here. Under parameter value, you have to pass class path colon sorry first you have to pass web inf location here first web inf location xml files slash web inf slash spring examples spring xml files slash spring dot 
XML. And the next class path data, comma, class path colon resources slash test.xml file. In this way, you can pass parameter value. Then it will load multiple XML files, this XML file and this XML file. From class path, if you want to load, put class path prefix and load that XML files. From WebINF, if you want to load, first pass that XML file location. First WebINF location, then next comma class path location XML files, you have to pass here. Okay. So by using init parameters, you can do this. This init parameters, who will read? Init parameters always, select only will read. Dispatcher select only will read this init parameters. So by finding this init parameters values, it will read your XML files, dispatcher select. And you can read this XML files by using context parameters also. We can configure context parameters, but in case of context parameters, we must need to configure one listener class here. If you want to configure context parameters. Context parameters. Context parameter. Under context parameters, we can configure param name and param value. And to read this context parameters, we have to configure a listener here. Listener. Listener hyphen class, right? The tag is what to load listener? Listener only. The listener name is context loader listener. So this listener class you should configure to load this context data. So in this case, this context data, this listener class will load and it will it will make available the data to dispatcher select. So in case of init parameters, dispatcher select is responsible to load data. In case of context parameters, this context loader listener will load that XML file data. So here you can see, in case, if you want to configure multiple XML files along with init parameters or context parameters. Same hello world. Fourth example. Add dependencies. actually we are using default configurations in case of default configurations surlet name itself we have to use for spring xml file name so here in web.xml file my surlet name is hello world so the same name we should use for our xml file also this xml file name is hello world hyphen surlet.xml file in case if you want to change this xml file name spring.xml if you want to make it spring.xml file, if you make it, what happens without giving that name if you try to deploy? Dispatch as alert will throw file not found exception. Hello world hyphen alert not found in webinf. You can read this exception here. What it is saying? File not found. Could not open 
Sarlet context resource WebINF Hello World Sarlet.xml file. Who given this name? As an input, we are not passing right. But by using by default your Sarlet name, it is trying to appending hyphen Sarlet.xml file and it is trying to finding XML file. In case if it not find, it will throws this file not found exception. And internally, who is starting that IOC container? Your dispatcher Sarlet only. By finding some XML file, it is trying to loading it into WebINF. I mean, it is trying to loading that XML file into your IOC container. Which IOC container internally it will use? A web application context. Into that web application context, by default, it will try to search XML file from this WebINF by using your Sarlet name. In case if it not find file not found exceptions, it will return. And if you want to configure your required file names, then you can configure here context parameters by using context params. Here you can, sorry, config parameters. By using config parameters, you can config here. Config parameters, we should write in between Sarlet and Sarlet. So configure here one init param, param name, context, config, location and parameter value webinf slash spring.xml file. Your required XML file name you can pass here. That's it. Now instead of loading that hello world Sarlet, it will try to load this spring XML file. So this one you can treat like input file name to your IOC container. Okay. And run this. executing. So which file it is loading here? Is it showing any debug statements? Loading XML bean definitions from Sarlet context resource webinf slash spring.xml file. So this spring XML file data it is trying to loading into your web container. Okay? Yeah. Then next, by using context to parameters also you can configure it. By using context to parameters also you can configure it. In case if you want to use context to parameters, this same init parameter values configure under context to tag. In between context param and context parameter, configure this param name and param value. And to read this context to parameters, using context parameters. To read this context parameters, you should configure a listener here. The listener class name is context loader listener. Just it will load that context data. Context loader listener class. Configure this fully qualified path. It's a simple servlet listener. Okay, the job of the servlet listener is what? It need to read your XML file location and it need to pass that location to your dispatcher servlet class. Oh, sorry, in between listener and listener, listener class we should use, yes. Now deploy it. exception it is trying to searching for hello old XML file 
So in case of context parameters, it is trying to loading default XML file also here. Okay, actually we have XML file spring.xml file, but it is trying to loading default XML file also. Context to config location spring XML file. Once again, test it. Listener will start first write. Listeners will execute first write. Context listeners. Anyways, that listener reading XML file, but it is not. So we must need to create one more XML file. Hello world. Hyphen select dot XML file. You no need to have any configurations here, but you must need to configure. Without having any configurations, just keep it. Actual configurations are there in Spring XML file. Okay, create one simple dummy XML file by using name. Okay, now we need to load these two XML files. One is from context loader, and one is by using default naming convention. Now run this. <coughs> 